Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back today to another video of Swansea City versus Middlesbrough. This is my review. Um, I sat in, sat in the same place again. The same sort of ideas to speak about because there's nothing to speak about. 19th. 19th. Still. Still 19th. Where do we go from here then? As fans, as a club, where do we go from here? Um, it's not easy, is it? Not easy being a Borough fan. You know, seven years in Championship, and we get this this season. This doesn't add up, does it? I don't really know where to start. I can't really speak. Obviously, I watched the match. Obviously, I couldn't be there as I explained. But um, again, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Gusted misses that header. I think my granddad could have put it in the back of the net, and he's 72 year old. It's okay coming out saying he's disappointed. Fair enough, but you know, what I mean, we're still in the same position, and we only got one point. And to be honest with you, it feels more like a loss than what it does a win. It feels like. Doesn't even feel like a point. Feels like I've just watched my team get hammered because I know we're better than what we. I know we're better as a club, as a team, you know, than what I've just watched. Swansea look like flipping Barcelona, man. At times when they had the ball, they looked absolutely unbelievable and were flapping all over the place. Two, two of the worst football players I've ever seen in my life, and I've seen a lot of bad football players at this football club. I mean, I'm talking like Maximilian Haas. He was bad. But flipping hell, man. Bernardo Espinosa, Antonio Baran. Like, friggin' sort your heads out. What are you doing? I would not understand how Bernardo gets in ahead of Ayala. That one would never make sense to me. And I think Baran's tallied up the most, like, foul, 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 foul throws in all the league. The guy can't even throw a football into a football pitch. Today was just abysmal, and you see all the comments after the game, and everyone's so negative and everyone's so down because I think we all know what's we all know what's happening around us now. We know that relegation's pretty much happening, and we hate to admit it as Borough fans. I hate to admit it on my videos, as I always try and stay positive, but it's just kind of like I can only hashtag believe for so long. You know, obviously I'll do it right till the end, but in my head I'm just thinking, is it all over now? Obviously I'm going the whole Wednesday night. We'll see what kind of butter turns up then, but today was just one of them games where I seriously thought that Swansea were there for the taking. And I say this in a few more videos, but I only say it because the teams that we play, I feel like we can beat. Today I genuinely felt like we could beat Swansea. It's Swansea, they're not, they're not, Swansea aren't this world class team, it's just Swansea. They're there, they're, they're there to be beat. And look at what happened yesterday with Palace beating Chelsea and Palace will go down. I mean, teams down this bottom end of the table, the one to fight for survival. We aren't doing the right things about it. It's just negatives as well. So much neg, so much negativity like tactics. Like, I don't get why. I don't get why we sat back after 20 minutes in the first half. We looked class. We looked good. We had chances. And then all of a sudden we sat back and invited pressure. I don't get that. I don't know how many times Baran wants to run away from his, run away from the man when he's running towards goal. It's like he's running alongside him for the pass, man. That guy's a joke. I don't know how he gets in this squad every single week. I get Chambers is out, but change you up. Bring someone out of the flipping new system if you have to. I don't care who comes in, but don't let that guy be in our shirt again. I mean, I'm just, I'm just angry. I'm just frustrated like every other Borough fan is. I mean, we don't pay our money to see that performance. Obviously, I didn't pay our money to watch it today, but I have done, I have done all season. I mean, first off, credit, credit to them travelling vans. The lads, that went, the lads and lasses that went all the way to flipping Wales for a nil-nil. Listen, I take me out after every single one of you because that's outstanding. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that, that, that sort of support is outstanding. And I I apologise on my behalf. You know, there wasn't anything to do with the match. That You know, that you, know, that you had to go there for a nil-nil. Because I have friends today that went, up to Swan, that went up to Swansea. I'm sure they'll be more disappointed than what I'll be until that long journey home. Well, that's, just, that's the kind of fans we are, you know what I mean? No matter where we are on the table, we're gonna get we're gonna get behind the team. We're gonna sell out the away allocations. 
give us something back. Give us a better performance than what you've just given us. Man of the match again today. It's not even hard. It's Ben Gibson. And I know I'm wearing a scarf. But the guy's a flipping genius at the back. If it wasn't for him today, we'd have, we'd, we'd, we'd have probably lost the game three or four goals. The guy today was just taking everything out of the air. Doing every single challenge. I mean, shame about Fabio going off. I've seen that he wanted to stay on, but it's probably best that he did go off in case he caused any further injuries. Obviously, Gaston went off as well. I mean, we don't want injuries at this part of the season, especially not to key players. I and mean, think of whatever you want about Gaston. Personally, I do like the block, and I think he's our flair. He's our flair in our team. Um, I don't know what the hell Traore has done to his hair, though. I don't know what the heck he's doing there, going blonde. But listen, I mean, that guy today, he had a good game. But Swans, you know all about him. and shut him down, or in the end, they snapped him. And it's fair enough saying today wasn't our day and all whatever else people whatever else I want to say and what fans want to say. But the truth is, I don't even think we have the players for this league. I think this will be our learning curve. I think if we go down, if we go down, we'll be in the championship and obviously players are going to leave. We all know this is going to happen. Ben Gibson, I know he's a local lad, but you know what I mean he's not going to pass up the opportunity to play Champions League football. I mean, I want him to. I want him to give up that opportunity if he came in, but you can't stop a good player from going to a good team and... You know, pursuing his career further would be selfish if you were to stop him. Um, obviously, Gaston looks like he's going. End of the season, fans booing, fans clapping. They don't know if they're coming or going. Uh, a drama Traore, he'll probably leave. Obviously, we're on the grey, those leaving. Um, one thing today, where's Bamford? Again, the guy's nowhere to be seen. Although, Agnew did say he took the whole squad down to Swansea. I don't know why he can't play Bamford then. I don't know what that excuse is to not play Bamford. But um, if that's if that's preparing for the championship, then I feel sorry for the bloke because all he wants to do is all he wants to do really is play for this football club. If you watch his interviews, the guy loves a football club, and all he wants to do is play play for this badge on the shirt. More than what many other players want to play for it. Put it that way, because not everyone on that pitch today give 110 percent for me, and you can't tell me that all of them wanna all of them wanna be on the pitch and play for the flipping club and all that because they don't, man. You can see it. I'm just, I'm just fed up. I'm just gutted, and I'm, I'm just fed up with performance, performances. If you like, I'm fed up with, the re I'm fed up with the results that we're getting. And it's only so long I can tell everybody on my channel and all the viewers that watch me and everyone else that goes to the matches and my friends to hashtag believe because I know it's what we've got to do, and it's, it's just hard trying to stay positive. You know, when you watch stuff like that, and I don't know. I mean, we go to Hull Wednesday night, and Hull. I found out a few days ago of a friend. The whole haven't been they haven't been beaten at home since the new manager came in, and he's never been never been beat at home in like his two or three la on like two of the three last clubs that he's managed. So what a great statistic that is. That's gonna be fun. But um, you know, let's see, let's let's hope it's us. Let's hope that we're the first team to beat him then. But um, as I say I've been to Hull a couple of times. I like the stadium. It's a good laugh actually. Hull away. It's not a bad game. Good banter with the fans. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to the match, obviously. I'm looking forward to seeing my team play, but just want to see a better performance of that. I actually want to see a goal get scored because I'm sick of sitting in my seat and standing up in the stands and not being able to jump around. You know, it's doing me head in, but I guess there's a few positives to take from today's game, and that's that's the fact that we created chances and whatnot, but to not get the result today is frustrating. But, you know, we go again. Go Hull, and then we go to Burnley, and, well, obviously Burnley come to us, but two tough games now coming up. I should say all the rest of the tough games coming up. Because you know, we've got City at home, Arsenal at home, Chelsea away, Liverpool away, Bournemouth away, Sunderland at home. You know what I mean? They don't get any easier. Sunderland's not going to be an easy game. They're only being a spot below us. So, do you know what I mean? It's, it's going to be hard. It's, you know, all we've got to do as fans now is as hard as it is today and any other day that we may not get the result that we need to the end of the season. He just keeps supporting this club, and I'm sure that we all will. And just trying, just trying to stay positive. You know, we all love the Borough, and that's what we got to remember. Our Borough is our team. We are Borough, if you like. And we've got to keep getting behind the squad all the way to the finish. I'll be back tomorrow to put in up. Well, well, tomorrow will be my preview for Hull v Middlesbrough. Hope you guys have a good rest of the day. Up the Borough.